What is up guys, this is Karan here. Welcome back to Tech Karan YouTube channel. If you're a user of Redmi Note 8 or Redmi Note 7, MIUI Plus is a very good choice if you want to install a custom room based on MIUI 12. Why is it so? It has a very cool kind of things available. Almost everything seems updated. A very new kind of volume panel, a very new kind of power menu styles. Everything seems really nice in this builder. Till now, using from some time, I'm fully satisfied. You can also use this build on a device and will experience a very cool kind of MIUI 12 feel on a device. Let's get started. Let's find out which other things you get here. Guys, the build which we're gonna talk about right now is the MIUI 12.3 MIUI Plus 20.11.18 beta version which is available for Redmi Note 8 and Redmi Note 7. Also may be available as a port or unofficial build for some devices but it's available as an official build for both of these devices. If you're using Redmi Note 8 or if you're using Redmi Note 7, the link for both of the devices is in the description. This one is based on Android version 10 as expected but with the very latest security patch from 1st of November to 2020 everything seems working here till now using from some time some guys said that the volume panel had some bug with the rotation thing like if you use your device in the landscape mode you might get some errors there in the power menu i just got to know that this one let's try out if anything has a bug here in my case it's working fine here you can see i'm, I'm able to choose whatever else i want to silent button is working fine here i can use the dnd option without any issues let's try out if it is working yes it's working fine here you can see like I can choose without any issues so everything seems working fine here till now of course this official build there should not be bugs at all but if you still found some bugs that depends upon your luck going for the some things which you get here one of the best thing first thing which I'm gonna talk about right now is the safety net status and fortunately the best part is the safety net status is passed let me show you Yes, the Redmi Note 8, Redmi Note 8 safety status is passed. So that might be a very good thing for some of the users. If you want to install some banking apps, want to use them, that's quite amazing. And going for some things which you get here, as I previously told you, the volume panel, which is the newest one, which have these things. And if you don't know how to install this kind of volume panel on other devices on uh, running MIUI 12, I have a video on that. Make sure to check that and you'll be able to install this thing. But in this build, I have not installed that Certainly, it's available as a pre-installed thing. If you go for this power menu, this is a very new kind of power menu where you have the reboot option, power off option, and if you double tap here, you'll be able to boot into fast boot mode or the recovery mode. So a lot of new features are available. Also, if you go for the weather app, if you click here and go for the share option, we have the latest thing which was present in Android 11 officially, but in these beta versions, you get these kind of features. Of course, we already know about that. Including that, if you go for the gallery option, let me tell you by going here and if I go the a more option, we have the option latest option which is called create PDF. I can create the PDF without any issues, which is quite great. And if you go for other things, we also have the option of recognize text and some cool kind of features in gallery. As expected, if you go for the edit option, yes, the sky filters and a lot of new things are available in this build. This build is one of the best builds I have ever used on MIUI 12 based things on Redmi Note 8 or any other device wherever you use MIUI Plus is quite great. Let's talk about some other things if you go for the theme section yes same as always the Chinese theme store is available where you can install any themes if you want to the theme whatever you like you can choose that one and you can import that theme by MIUI theme editor and if you go for my account yes in themes has the import option available third party themes can be imported without any issues you can apply all the third party themes this is also great and of course chinese theme store has these kind of features as expected going for some things which we have in this build till now as i already shown you the volume panel there are other things if you go for the health app health app also has some changes uh, you can see the health and workout section is now different here running walking cycling and treadmill you can easily say that uh, this build has almost all the apps in a new build almost every app is updated in this build so if you want updated apps in this build then this build is quite good for you if you want updated apps on your mini 12 device then you can install this build volume panel power menu updated apps it's quite good and almost latest features 
going for some settings features the room does not come with many features honestly because some rooms has very better features than that like MIUI plus and MI NSC room and some other rooms based on MIUI 12 has a co cool kind of features going for the lock skin kind of things sleep and some little bit of things available does not include many customizations charging animation has three or four things but no more than that Going for the display customizations, yes, light mode, dark mode, both are available and you can use them without any issues. And yes, I am fully satisfied with dark mode. Everything seems working everywhere. And of course, to apply dark mode fully, it's better to reboot your device once. Also have the schedule dark mode option available. Color scheme, text size and font weight is one of my favorite features in Mi 12. If you haven't saw my favorite Mi 12 features video, you can go and check it out. I have mentioned which are those four features which I liked a lot. Also, let me tell you the feature which I was talking in the my favorite features video, which was the portrait feature. And let me tell you that feature is available in the portrait mode, but that was available in Android 11 by clicking after the photo, you can adjust the blur effect. But in Android version 10, you can simply adjust the blur effect simply by going here, which is available before even clicking the photo. So the feature is available in both of the, these devices, but yes, it's available in MIUI 12. It's not about Android version 10 or Android version 11. Just the placement was different, but nothing else. Going for the things which I was talking in settings, we have the notifications and control center option available where sorry let, uh, let's talk about display settings once again yes everything seems done we already talked about that and sound and vibration same kind of things nothing different here no extra features as expected additional settings has the option of default volume control stream you can choose the media or you can choose the ringtone option too so default whichever thing you want to adjust depends upon you things which you get in the notifications and control center floating notifications badges and lock scene customizations lock scene notification customization is one of my favorite features also include the notification shade where we have the weather info option available which is of course not available in all the rooms which are available also expand top notification option is available here too Control center, yes, you can use the new one or the old one and we have the new kind of control center available here, which is working fine. No major things available here. Also, we have the option to customize the switch control center side. So you can switch the control center from here to here. Depends upon your preferences. Status bar related customizations include the battery indicator, hide notch and some little bit of more things. Other things are quite same. Wallpaper, yes, has some MIUI plus wallpapers which means approximately 16 new wallpapers are available so if you are a wallpapers lover then some wallpapers are available for you which is quite interesting and super wallpapers as expected but honestly not everyone uses super wallpaper and i honestly don't use it on my especially on my redmi note 8 i will definitely not use just for some kind of fun etc it's just nothing else like that themes yes option available password and security also Let's talk about privacy protection, which is uh, which has a new kind of UI now awareness and protection feature. Both are different here, which is just changed in this latest update. And if you want to install this latest app, you can install this app easily on any other versions also. And in this MIUI Plus build, we have this version available without any issues. You can use that. Other things quite same. No extra things are available. These were the things I just want to share with you. The link for this MIUI Plus build is in the description. You can go and install this build. This is all from today's video. I hope you like it. If you like it, don't forget to drop a like and also comment if you have any queries. Thanks for watching. Get back.